Daily news, breaking news, everyday news. Uh, today is the 3rd of May uh, 2022. How are you guys doing? Should you say, say yes, it's a good one. Nasty, and it's so uh, very good. And the one bishi bishi konoti my school fees are bad that I really want boarding school. Uh, why not? I really need to go to And uh, my teacher man, I don't know why. Why? So sorry, so sorry. Two times that I show ma. And yeah. So workers yesterday accused government of making empty promises on improved wages and conditions of service for too many years, as teachers declared incapacitation again. With schools opening for the second term today, teachers said they would uh, they could not afford to go to work. Zimbabwe Congress of Trade Unions (CTU) Secretary General Jafet Moyo said uh, that unlike in good old days when salary increases were announced on May Day, workers were now living on false promises from government and employers. On Sunday, the country's commemorated Workers' Day, which is celebrated globally on May 1. The CTU held celebrations at 20 centers across the country, with the main celebrations being held at Chemanza Stadium in Zarasekwa, Arare, where Public Service Minister Paul Mavima was the guest of honor. They only speak without taking action. The promise free education, free health care, free electricity, but those promises have not been fulfilled. Trade unionists have been criminalized, and whenever workers try to demonstrate, they are arrested. Workers are not politicians, but they will be demonstrating for their tummies, Moyo said. We are happy that Mavima graced our celebrations because previously the government would send junior officials. Among the Rural Teachers Union of Zimbabwe, President Obed Masarure said, As teachers, we have never been treated well by the government, which has never fulfilled its promises. We are now going into the second term and our children are being chased away from school despite government promises to pay fees for them. We have written twice to the government over the payment of school fees for teachers' children, but the authorities have responded saying they are on it. Last term, teachers and headmasters failed to report for duty, claiming incapacitation. Government responded by suspending more than 50,000 educators. The teachers are demanding to be paid the pre-October 2018 salary of 540 US dollars per month as the economy wobbles under raging inflation, which has eroded incomes. The issue of assistance for three children of a teacher with school fees amounting to 20,000 um, RTGs each per term is long overdue as we are entering the second term without any fruition. Takavira Zhou, the Progressive Teachers Union of Zimbabwe president said yesterday, the earlier government deposited the money which has now accumulated to 40,000 uh, bond per child for two terms into teachers accounts the better. She said teachers also wanted a rescue package that would enable them to report for work as the average teacher salary of 18,000 bond was grossly insufficient. Educators Union of Zimbabwe President Tafadzwa Mudawafa said workers in Zimbabwe, especially teachers, have a couple of years been doing nothing more than community service. They've been offering their services for free and employers seem not to care. Paying workers in local currency is a mockery, considering that all goods and services are being sold in US dollars. This comes at a time when the exchange rate is spiraling out of control. Primary and secondary education ministry spokesperson Tonga Nandoro, however, said everything was in place for schools opening, adding that uh, there were no indications that teachers would fail to report for duty. Yes, we are ready to open and all systems go. A lot of teachers are already at their workstations, he said. The Zimbabwe lawyers for human rights raised concern over the persecution of workers and labor rights activists by authorities for advocating for improved salaries. The authorities routinely arrest workers and union leaders for protesting for better wages and improved working conditions in violation of workers' rights to freedom to demonstrate and petition, which is enshrined in the constitution of Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe lawyers uh, for human rights said in a statement, Zimbabwe nurses Association President Enoch Dongo said if government continued to fail to honor its promises to workers, there would be widespread resistance. 
the situation is getting out of hand, we urge the government not to frog jump in terms of the workers' welfare, otherwise it's risk resistance. The workers' salaries have been eroded by inflation too much. It is painful to expect someone to live on 60 US dollar per month. We are tired of false promises and want action now as workers have lost patience, Longo said. Zimbabwe Professional Nurses Union President Robert Chidugu said there was nothing to celebrate on Sunday and what we see is only betrayal by the government. We foresee a major brain drain, especially in the nursing profession, which has been birthed by the prevailing economic crisis and fake promises by the employer who is the government. And so guys, that's the latest here regarding to uh, teachers that are saying that at Kwanisi, Kwenda Kuskoro, at Kwanisi Kutisavana, because Maratu Kutambira Ishoma, you can't blame them, the government is paying them peanuts. Maratu Kutambira Ishoma, and because most prices, Mashopa Kawanda, most retailers are now asking for US dollar. And so, which means that you can buy that 18,000 RTGs, which into US dollar, and you don't have any marriage, any rate at the moment. And my nurses are earning a 60 US dollar per month. Amana Pana Mara, sixty years. Don't matter what Tambira Manes is Edo, and uh, yes, and uh, they're supposed to report for duty, otherwise, you'll be suspended or fired. Uh, so, guys, we're going to keep you in the loop regarding the, this new development. To get near my teachers, they're saying that Urumende has been uh, giving us empty promises. I mean, ED was supposed to do something on Workers' Day, which was the first of May. But speech our ED, Engel Lukwom. I mean, Engel Lukwom, the main divine address, near my salaries, my teachers, Edu, and the Saga, but teacher would Iowa. It's also a Taneta. The most painful part is that uh, you cannot uh, go to the streets mono um, mono demonstrator and the police ninge agu mirirai in for you panto kwara van na kutofa van joshua and the demonstrations uh, taka pezi lago wana wago dara at the moment akuna muna anu mbo chaka jima demonstrations because you'll be putting the lives of those uh, demonstrators at risk we've seen it before and the saka kutongo fira mkati and the so Wakati wa strike za kari, there are also um, risk of being suspended or fired. And the government is trying by all means kuti uh, but at the same time, they need to address the uh, salaries and uh, everybody deserves to live a upenyu uningo urinani. But kana maria ya nungo chita mbira iri shoma, wajinji, dubopo waru kusia, wachinda kune zimwinika. Wangwe ndu waru kutosia, zwa mtuose, zwe teaching zwa achu zuzu, wato ngo tawomu, Jungo to Wang was Jungo Asla Asla, and yes, because no one to know what to tea. Ah, Nigamuki, the Moxens and Chitambira, Marshman, and you. We hope the government will address uh, the grievances animal civil servants, Edu, especially my nurses, and they are earning a 60 US dollar per month that the least paid a nurse. And the Saka Marshman and I to tea, I took the change of Rwanda. And so, guys, this is a daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Miller in the Temi TV. We're gonna keep you guys in the loop regarding to any information any news any update regarding to nyaya yema teachers nyema nurse and other civil servants but good iowa married that took time to show my info real you show much to show our man he married to sing out of the you know the woman who tells you at the moment there's nothing much you can buy with 180 us dollar or even 60 us dollar i think it's you i don't think it's you know and you're saga pipe Daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Remember, guys, to like, share, comment, and follow. Let's up. Synesthetic.